Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are doing a size comparison on the three different sizes of the Ray-Ban Clubmaster sunglasses. So first, let's go ahead and pop on the smallest size, which have 49 millimeter lenses and a 21 millimeter bridge. In my opinion, I think these sunglasses are the best size for my face. Now let's go ahead and pop on the standard size, which have 51 millimeter lenses in the exact same 21 millimeter bridge. And I also do think these sunglasses look pretty good on my face as well, but I am very interested to know which pair do you guys think look best on my face? So leave that in the comment section down below after you see all three. So let's go ahead and pop on the large size, which have 55 millimeter lenses. So here are the large size that have 55 millimeter lenses, but they actually have a smaller bridge. They have a 19 millimeter bridge. And it's actually because these are the Asian fit Ray-Ban Clubmaster sunglasses. So here on the Asian fit, we're going to have a two millimeter smaller bridge than the classic sunglasses. However, even though we do have that two millimeter smaller bridge, we actually have larger lenses here on the Clubmaster, which have 55 millimeter lenses. And I actually think these look really good as well. Now we can tell that these are the Asian fit because after the model number, uh, which says 3016, they actually have an F and that F stands for Asian fit. Now, usually your average person isn't going to want the Asian fit unless, of course, that's what fits them best because they do have that smaller bridge. However, here on the Ray-Ban Clubmasters, they of course have fully adjustable nose rests. So you can easily compensate and make them a little bit wider with the fully adjustable nose rest. So basically anybody can wear these 55 millimeter Asian fit sunglasses. This larger pair of sunglasses fits my face absolutely great and they feel really good. And I also think they look really good on my face as well, but you got to keep Keep in mind that if you do get the larger 55 millimeter size, the model number is going to be RB3016 and an F. So it's going to be a different pair of sunglasses technically than the original sizes. So let's go ahead and pop on all three sunglasses one last time. So again, here are the smaller size, which have 49 millimeter lenses and that standard 21 millimeter bridge. I'll give you guys a quick little 180 of these sunglasses on my face so you guys can get a good idea of how they're going to look. Now let's go ahead and pop on the standard size, which again have 51 millimeter lenses in the same 21 millimeter bridge. And again, I'll give you guys a quick little 180 of these on my face as well. I think for your average person, the smaller size are going to be a little bit tighter here on the temples and the standard size is probably going to fit most people's faces best. And lastly here, we're going to pop on the large size, which again have 55 millimeter lenses in a 19 millimeter bridge. And here we can see the lenses on these are much bigger. So let me go ahead and give you guys that 180 of these on my face as well. And I actually think that all three of these sizes actually look pretty good on my face. And I'm really not sure which looks better. I think these smaller sunglasses look better. But again, leave me a comment in the comment section below letting me know which pair you guys think looks best on my face because I'm very interested to know what you guys have to say. Now, an unfortunate thing about the Ray-Ban Clubmaster sunglasses, most of these sunglasses are now made in China. So see that here on the inner right temple of these sunglasses. Occasionally, you can get lucky and pick up a pair of Italian sunglasses, but usually they are made in Italy. Out of all the three that I showed you guys in today's video, the only one that is made in Italy is the standard 51 millimeter sunglasses. And honestly, I do believe the build quality of these Italian sunglasses are a little bit better than the Chinese sunglasses, but that's just something to know. For whatever reason, Ray-Ban actually does keep this larger size a secret and they really don't push it or advertise it as being an option for the average person. You have to really go deep on their website to actually find out this pair actually exists. But I actually think that this size should be a serious consideration to anybody who is considering picking up a brand new pair of Ray-Ban Clubmaster sunglasses. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I a brand new video, just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.